big step in the right direction, Sean, a bit away from home, that. Yeah, definitely. Um, we'll get out of the way early doors, because I prefer to speak about the game, but how they didn't get a man sent off is impossible. Um, so we'll start with that, and then hopefully talk about the positive aspect, um, which is a very good performance, I thought. You know, it's not easy coming to these places. You know, these are a fine side, I think, and they can change it in many ways. They can change their shape, they can change from the bench. Um, and I thought we handled a lot, not everything, because they're a good side and they still create some jobs, but a lot of what they um, threw at us today, I thought we handled it very well and, and played our own game. And I was really, really pleased. Um, just a shame that we didn't get nothing from it, because I thought we deserved something from it. And since it's goal, and it's also the, the, the challenge on, on Stephen Ward, and then he goes on and, and lays on the Yeah, sets the goal. Well, from the free kick, a counter, and he sets up the goal. And um, it's nothing against him, you understand. It's just a decision that is quite simply a sending off. You can't go in blind with your hands over your face and do a high foot like that and then not go off a uh, uh, stand the pitch rather and I, I don't um, I didn't see it at the moment it happened in the sense how he was still on the pitch and I've looked at it afterwards and I still can't see how he was on the pitch only by the modern game I make it clear I mean, because that, that we're told that high feet like that in that sort of challenge and it's a sending off and then he doesn't send him off and we're all well I thought everyone was scratching their head I might have that wrong but uh, I've seen it back and it's in my opinion it's a clear sending off did you speak to the have you had a chance to have a look back at the penalty Appeal um, as well. The which one? Dyer on grey. No, it's a good foot, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think he's just about got enough on it. It's a close one, but it's a good foot, I think. Good defender. Um, the in, more interesting one was when Andre Gray goes through with Walker, and somehow Walker gets a free kick. I can't. I've seen that back, and Andre Gray's in front of him. So if the ball's, well, I don't know what the ref gave there, but that's a more interesting one. But that's that aside. It's um, no, I thought it was a good tackle um, from Dyer. Um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 it's, I prefer not to, not to be in a position to talk about these things if I can help it. But we didn't get one at West Ham the other day on our keeper because he doesn't roll around the floor. Wardy jumps straight up, gets on with it. If he rolls around the floor, does he get a sending off? Maybe. It's a bit disappointing when, when you know, the, the, the game's not officiated, regardless of whether you roll around the floor, just because it's a decision that's a sending off, in my opinion. We spoke to Mr. Friend. Mm. I asked him, and, and he just felt that it wasn't. I said, well, I think you'll be surprised when you think when you see it back. And I said, uh, but I must make it clear, I think he's a good ref. And I thought he officiated the game generally well today. Um, it's just that uh, I've said that a lot lately, and we can't seem to get the, the decisions that really count. I think that's our sixth game changer this season, which is, uh, well, it's certainly not what we want. Are you confident or even out over the course of the season? Sorry? Are you confident or even out? Over well, you can, only, you can only hope it does. Um, there's certainly no angle to it, I think it's just by chance, you know, but we, we can't seem to get the, the real ones, you know, that really count. Um, and it started in the first game of the season with Keno getting his shirt pulled, you know, on the goal line nearly, and yeah, again, he just stands up and gets on with the game and doesn't get the decision, so, but I don't really want anything other than my players to just play in the right manner. Do you think it's a case of some of your players being a bit more cute almost then, in terms of, I'm not really, I know you don't, you don't want them to do that, but have they done it? No, no, I, th I think... I think I, I, I think I know from years of playing that, that gamesmanship is different. I don't we accept that, I accept that. Um, but there is a difference between gamesmanship and I think you're allowed to call it simulation though. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, trendy word for it. Um, so I, I, I can only offer that our players I don't really want them to um, roll around the floor, if I'm honest. So if you get caught in the box and you go down, that's different. That's that's gamesmanship. But if I think Wardy, another another day, another player would have rolled around the floor and there's all it all goes off and our players surround the ref and all that. We didn't do that, but then you don't get a decision. So it is it is frustrating. So do you almost feel that your players do have to adopt what is No, it's not for me, no. So you will continue to... Just get on with the game, just play in the, in the right manner as I see it. And for our fans as well, I don't think I, I, I might have it wrong, maybe. Maybe, but I don't think our fans want to see our players roll around the floor. They want to just see them play like they did today and try and win a game. Um, so I think that's one of the key things. Sean, sure, you suggested that there were a number of decisions that didn't go your way. Do you think they... That no, there's only one one key decision. Oh, no, sorry, I'm I didn't suggest all the other game change. Oh, sorry, you mean over the season? Sorry, sorry. I thought you meant today. Um, do you think you would have got those decisions if they'd gone the other way? Uh, sorry, what you The opposition in those cases. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You can never define that. It's a referee's momentary um, decision. I must make clear, I don't think there's anything... I think it's just one of them things. But you can only hope that over the season, that at some point, we do get one of them big decisions. And today was a head-scratcher. I don't think anyone... 
I might be wrong, I don't know what your opinion is, but I don't think anyone in the stand would have been that surprised if he if he went off the pitch today. You know, it wouldn't have been one where there's uproar, I think, and would have went, well, yeah, and then when you see it after, you'd probably go, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I mean? So I don't think today's a close one. I think it's just, I said, no, nothing against the player. I think the player's a fantastic player. But it's just a bad decision, a uh, bad t- uh, challenge, right? Much, much more like yourself, though, you've created chances. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it is unfortunate we have to cover that, but of course we do. No, I was really pleased with the performance, you know. We're trying to mature into the season away from home, we know that. Um, at home, we've done a pretty good. Sorry. John, can I just turn that mic to two of you? Yeah, you can. You sound desperate. <laughs> <laughs> That's strange. It's a surreal moment in a press conference. It feels like Bill Bug Baggins or someone coming. <laughs> what happened there? What happened there? How surreal. <laughs> okay. Testing. Oh, okay, right, I've got you. Bilbo, it worked. Um, where were we? Pardon? Picked up any injuries? Uh, not that I know of at the moment, other than just knocks and stuff. It's, it's killed it, hasn't it? Sort of in a positive way, but I sound freakish now, like a Dalek, even worse than I normally sound. I much preferred it without that. Anyway. Okay, folks. Cheers, everyone. Cheers.